I'm Shelby Gray. Mm. I'm Nicole Davidson. Mm. What do we you play for the under 16 Scotland national team? Yeah, I'm the same. So, have you been in the under 16 Scotland team for long? Um, uh, a couple months now. How long have you been in the under 16 team, Nicole? Um, two years. Two years. I understand that the team are going to Malta to play in the Fibi Championship in five weeks' time. Can you tell me, Shelby, first of all, what kind of preparation are you doing for that? Um, I think our training programmes we have at home that we can work on individually to help us strengthen our skills and our conditioning. And we have our practices here on the weekends. And I think it's more the whole excitement that we're all getting psyched up for it and we're all looking forward to it. That's fabulous, what a great answer. And Nicole, why are you making t-shirts today underneath your um, kit? We're wearing these to get used to the heat that we'll be playing in when we go away, because we're not used to it here. Okay, so what kind of teams will you be playing against in, in Malta? Where are the teams from? Um, there's one from Wales, Andorra, Malta. From Cyprus. Cyprus, yeah. yeah. So a lot of these teams are used to playing in hot weather. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you're fundraising at the moment. Why? Why are you fundraising? Well, before the Euro Championships, we go to San Juan for a week, so we need to get some money for that too. Okay. So by going to San Juan, is that to help you become acclimatised to the heat? Yeah, it'll help oh. us with the heat, and we get to play in a more competitive environment. Ah, uh, so it's, it's real preparation then for, yeah. for the games, which is, is, is awesome. Now, today the Wellbeing Alliance organised for some Harley Davidson riders to come along to, to, to show you girls that you shouldn't really judge a book by its cover, okay? And you had the opportunity to speak with some of the Harley Davidson riders um, who are called the Dingleys, but also to play some basketball with them. Yeah. What, what did you think of that experience? Oh, I really wasn't yeah. expecting it. No, me neither. <laughs> it was really fun, like, they were all happy and, like, getting really into it as well. Yeah, they were more competitive than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give them a run for their money? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. So you enjoyed, you enjoyed that? Yeah, yeah that was really good. Surprise. That's great. So in terms of um, basketball being a sport that you both play and you both enjoy, and I know you play for clubs, you know, locally, what is it about basketball that you really enjoy? Um, I enjoy like all the people that play as well. Like you meet a lot of great friends that like, you keep in touch with for like years, mm -hmm. whatever. Hopefully, yeah, it's the whole team environment. Yeah. I think it's more about being there with the people and you grow closer to them. You see them every week, and it's just good fun to play with them. Right? Okay, now you girls are lucky because you play sport and you recognise the benefit of being part of that basketball community and and having teammates and being competitive, but doing it in a very feminine way. You know, which is which is lovely to see. Do you see other friends who are not involved in sports? Mm, yeah, uh, they maybe get in with like their own crowd and stuff, and got like too much spare time mm -hmm. on their hands. Yeah, they don't know what to do them themselves as much. Mm -hmm. So when we were out training, playing games, they're just sitting at home or going out and getting involved in the wrong things. Mm -hmm. So if you were to give a, a message to a young kid who you know, is, is at that stage in their life where they're going to decide whether they're going to play a sport or not play a sport, what message would you give them? To play as much as you can, yeah. you'll keep yourself busy, you'll meet lots of great people and you'll keep in touch with them. Yeah. Um, Just try everything, like if you don't like something then move on to something else and you'll find something that's for you.